it is ultimately important for you to, to look at your goals, truly what you want to do in your life, and then look at the people who you spend the most time with in your life and figure out if that lines up. All right. What's happening? What's happening, guys? Good morning. Good morning to you. It is Monday, December 9th, 2019. We're coming at you here at a little different time today. Uh, we're going to switch some things up here as we progress through this process of this show. And uh, yeah, Keith Calloway, my man, I'm sure you're happy you get to watch this live now instead of having to get up at uh, 4.30 in the morning to potentially do that. So, But I appreciate you guys that are able to join me here. I know it's the middle of the day, so we'll see how this goes. I got some advice from somebody who's a pretty, uh, I would consider an expert in this type of thing. And they told me to switch it up a little bit here and there. So to do some morning stuff, to do some midday stuff. And so here we are. So I appreciate you guys jumping on here. Maybe you can share your lunch time with me today. Uh, and we're going to talk about a couple of the things that I wish I had known when I started my business. Uh, and I think that, you know, there's a lot of people out there that I talk to that are, you know, either in situations where they're working for somebody or they're working for somebody, they want to start kind of a side project. And, and I see a lot of people not end up actually doing that. And so uh, I wanted to talk about some of the things that I wish I had known because I think that if people actually know this stuff, um, that they might actually take that jump, uh, take that leap and explore something that they are passionate about. And I, I believe that as people are doing those things in their lives uh, that make them most happy and make them most fulfilled, that the world becomes a much better place. So um, we're going to jump right into that and get started. What's happening, Darren Ridnauer? Thank you, brother. I appreciate you guys getting that stuff done for us out there, and I uh, hope you guys are traveling safe home. So um, so I got four bullet points here this morning that I want to talk about with regard to the things that I wish I had known uh, when I was starting my business. Uh, number one is that, uh, pure and simple, you don't have to have it all figured out to start. Um, you know, I, There's a lot of people when you talk about starting a business, the first thing that they say to me is, you know, should I have a business plan, like the type of business plan that I want to give to a bank or, you know, to be able to get approved for some type of funding or something like that. And the truth is, is that you don't necessarily have to have a fancy, drawn out business plan that defines everything under the sun. Business plans are fantastic. Uh, but the reality is, is that those business plans, if you're doing a really good job and you get out of the gate strong and you're growing your business right away, uh, those business plans don't stay as they were originally formed for very long anyway. Um, so you don't necessarily have to have that fancy business plan to get started. Um, you know, we had a business plan when we started the payment group that kind of, you know, gave us some guidance as far as like, you know, what we wanted to achieve, what we needed to achieve in revenue, when we would bring people on, things like that. But the reality is, guys, don't don't spend a, a ton of time trying to get the plan perfect because the reality is, is that the plan is going to change quite frequently as you grow your business, as things start to evolve. That plan is always going to change. So you want to have you know, that structure in place so that you have some level of guidance. Um, I've seen people make incredible business plans uh, on a napkin in a restaurant or in a bar. So... Um, you don't have to have it all figured out to start, and you certainly don't have to have a business plan that it takes $5,000 uh, to, to do to start. You know, the, what you got to have is some heart and some courage and a lot of, uh, and, and the ability to overcome a lot of adversity. So you don't have to have it all figured out to start is number one. Uh, number two, Here's, here's the biggest killer of dreams, I believe, in the United States. There's two things that I always say are the killer of dreams in the United States. One is a six-figure corporate job because people are comfortable enough that they never want to leave it. And number two is that most people will try to talk you out of what you're trying to do. And the reality is, is that those people that try to talk you out of what you're trying to do, uh, there's two things. Either they don't understand it they, they just don't understand what you're doing because they've probably never done it. Uh, or they have done it and they turn back when things got tough. 
And we're going to get into the details of how to overcome that piece of it as well, because those people that turn back when it gets tough uh, tend to rub off on other people. They tend to build that doubt into other people uh, and almost convince them that it's okay to turn back when things get tough. But just keep that in mind, God, that those people who are trying to talk you out of uh, doing th- you know, doing things that you want to do, opening a business or taking a new career. It could be taking a new career working for somebody else. Uh, people that don't take risks will try to talk you out of taking them all the time. And so, uh, and again, it doesn't mean that those are bad people or that you know that they're you know trying to harm you in any way. It's just kind of the way that they think. And so, you know, don't always take the advice of those people unless. You know, there's a very good reason that you think you should, right? I, my, my general rule is with regard to whatever it is that I'm talking about, if it's financial or health related or uh, business related, I would never, I'd never try to take advice from somebody that I wouldn't switch places with. And so be careful when you're talking about, you know, starting a business or starting a new career or doing something different. Be careful that you don't take advice from those people uh, that you, would not t- you would not switch places with because that's a very dangerous dangerous thing to do um, when it comes to talking about you know your hopes and dreams. Uh, number three, those people that you view in, as incredibly successful, the ones that you think have it all figured out, I got news for you guys. Those people are going through the same exact challenges and the same exact things as you will go through, uh, no matter what. Because the reality is, is that nobody, nobody is protected from day-to-day things that happen in business, in life, in in your family, in whatever. It does, Money doesn't buy your way out of that. Success doesn't buy your way out of it. In fact, as you're on your way up the ladder, as you're trying to figure it out, as you're taking these risks, the chances are you're going to get punched in the face harder and harder and harder as you move up the ladder. The problems are always there. They just grow in size. They grow in complication, level of complication. And so whether you work somewhere or whether you own your own business, you're going to face challenges. You're going to face adversity. And those people that you have around you, that you choose to be friends with, that you choose to have influence on your life, those people are going to determine how fast or slow or how easy or difficult it is to get through those problems because it's the information coming at you. It's the attitudes that people have around you of how to deal with these problems. In our circle of friends, in my circle of friends, I am blessed to have people that understand these challenges And there's never a time where somebody calls me or that I call somebody that's in my circle that they don't encourage, give an encouraging response, that they don't encourage me in how to deal with a certain situation or um, different perspectives of how to handle things. But the reality is, getting back to this, when you're looking at people, when you're thinking about starting something, you're thinking about starting a business, you're thinking about starting a new job, and you're looking at these people who you think have it all figured out. Somehow they don't have any problems. Man, they live in this kind of house and they drive, you know, I got guys, I got friends that drive McLarens and friends that drive Lamborghinis. They still got the same problems that everybody else does. And most of the time they have bigger problems. And that's the reality of life, guys. that, That never goes away. The difference is as you move forward in business and as you build your business, these challenges that you face will get bigger. But it's just like going to the gym, guys. As you as you lift weights, you're able to lift more weights, right? You build your muscles to the point that you can bench press. You go from 150 pounds to 200 pounds to 250 pounds to 300 pounds. It's the same way in business. You're just going to be bench pressing problems instead of weight. And that's the reality of business. So when you look at these people and you see incredibly successful people that you think have it all figured out, I got news for you guys. They're figuring it out just like you are every single day. The difference is the reason that you don't see that is they don't complain. 
They don't moan and groan. They don't share their problems with the world. They don't go on Facebook and post about how miserable their life is because they're going through this one particular problem. They learn to expect that. They learn to expect the adversity. So when you look at people and it appears as if they don't have any problems, it's not that they don't have any problems. They, they just don't choose to share them all with the world, number one. And number two is they expect those problems. So they don't really even view them as problems. Most of the stuff that I find myself dealing with on a daily or weekly basis that are problems, like I don't, I don't ever talk about it. I was just having a conversation with my wife the other day about uh, a challenge that I was having with something. I don't even remember what it was. And she said, man, you, you never even mentioned that to me. You know, I, I, I would have had no idea. And, and that's, I want it to be that way. I don't want my family to experience, you know, all of those ups and downs and the, you know, just the roller coaster ride that business is. I want to protect them from that. And I want to protect everybody's, uh, you know, perspective of that. You know, I talk about this all the time. What I try to do, you know, I try to I try to share some of those challenges with you guys on, on live streams or the people that I talk to. But there's a balance of that because if you share too many problems and people are going to accuse you of, you know, you want people to feel bad for you. You, you know, I don't, I don't need anybody to feel bad for me. And I'm I'm taking the problems as they come and I'm learning every single day as as problems arise or I deal with problems uh, you know, with other people. They might call me for advice and we work through those problems together. Every single day, guys, we're all learning just the same. It doesn't matter where you're at on your journey. If you're just starting out or you're a few years down the road or you've been doing it for 30 years and you're, you're incredibly stable and successful, those people are experiencing the same thing as you are. And so when you think about it, when you look at, well, I'm, I'm not like them, they've got it all figured out, so I don't want to start my business, or I don't want to make a career change. Every single person, and I don't care if they're worth hundreds of millions of dollars or, or they're just starting out, they are facing the same exact problems. And so don't ever let that stop you uh, from starting a business, from making a change, from making a decision, from being aggressive. Uh, when you're Comparison is the thief of all joy. When you're starting to look at other people and you look at their life and you think that everything that they have, man, is just so polished and figured out, it's not. I promise you. So number one is you don't have to have it all figured out to start. Number two, most of the people that are going to try to talk you out of things are not qualified to do so. Number three, those people that you view as incredibly successful, they are not. Uh, they are not as polished, as successful, as whatever as you think they are. They are figuring it out just the same as you are. And so don't ever let that stop you from making a change in your life, from taking a step forward. And last, but certainly not least, and I preach this all the time for you guys that watch on a regular basis, who you surround yourself with will determine the pace of your success and it will also determine the happiness in your life. If you choose to surround yourself with poison, you will have a poisonous existence. You will have an existence that is constantly up and down, something that's constantly dragging you to a negative energy, something that is constantly just, just putting you in a bad place, up and down, up and down, up and down, because you're dealing with this adversity of poison that's going on around you. If you surround yourself with the right people that constantly get it done regardless of the circumstances, that are constantly encouraging each other, that are going out of their way to lift each other up, that are always trying to help each other, whether it's in business, in life, pushing each other to the next level. People like Keith Calloway, who signed me up to run an ultra marathon. You're, headed, you're only headed in one direction, guys. You cannot do the right things every single day and get the wrong result. You cannot be around winners and be a loser. It's just not how it works. If you are around winners every day of your life, you will eventually win. I promise you. It's just how it works, guys. And if you are around or you allow this poison to exist in your life for an extended period of time, then don't, don't be surprised when you look back and things are a little rocky for you. And they're going to continue to be rocky until you, you stand up and you do something about that. Because the reality is, is that our environment and the energy that exists around us, 
whether it's in our business, in our families, our friendships, uh, those things that, that, that there is nothing more important in your life than who you choose to be around. In our coaching program, Top Contractor Elite, we have, we have values. And some of those values are be positive, be humble. Because if you bring negativity into that group, you will be asked to leave. And there's a reason for that. Because the jobs that we do, leading businesses, selling, uh, running operations teams, field teams in construction, it is challenging enough on its own. We don't need anybody else to bring negativity into that group. What we are trying to do is surround ourselves with success. And the high tide rises all boats. So as you surround yourself with those people that have the pace, the passion, the momentum, the motivation to take their lives to the next level, I promise you, if you have five of those people in your life every single day, you will be the sixth. There's no doubt about it. It is the most important decision that you can make as you start into business or you uh, are, are considering this path If you have nervousness about starting on this path, the first place you should look is who you are surrounded by. Because I can promise you that that nervousness is not probably because of you. You are thinking about starting a business or you are thinking about taking a new career path because you already know that you are capable of doing it. Otherwise, you would be hiding under the veil of a large corporation where you could go in and punch the you know, punch the clock and not have anything to worry about. But the reality is you already know in your soul that you are qualified and capable to do what you're thinking of doing. The reason that you have doubts is because of the people in your life. And if you start to evaluate those people in your life, I promise you, it will slap you in the face like a ton of bricks as to who it is that is creating that doubt in your life that holds you back from doing what you're supposed to be doing. And if you do that, if you allow those people to stop you from doing what you're doing, I promise you, you're going to look back on your life years from now and you're going to regret that decision. You will regret that decision. I will tell you, my regret is that I didn't start doing what I was doing way before. And you know why I didn't start way before? Because I doubted myself because of other people. Because I was told, you know, you got to have safety. You have a family. You got to have this. You got to have health insurance. You got to have a a salary. You got to have, you don't have to have any of that stuff, guys. What you have to have is belief in yourself and a group of people around you that will help you win no matter what. And that's the truth. So those four things that I just rattled off to you guys are just some of the things that I wish I had known when I was starting my business. There's a whole there's a whole list of things from a technical standpoint, but I wanted to give you guys those things that I felt was most important and, and could uh, you know cascade a blanket audience. No matter what kind of business you're thinking of starting or what type of uh, job you're thinking of switching to, those are the four things that I think you have to evaluate uh, to, to really make yourself. Uh, be able to see clearly and not worry about what everybody else's opinion is. Um, Not worry about your own capabilities because you know if you are considering doing it, you already know that you're capable. The only reason you're doubting yourself is because of somebody else. So let me run through them one more time. You don't have to have it all figured out to start. If you think, here's, here's another just tactical tip here. If you want to start a business, the first thing you got to figure out is, can it produce enough revenue and profit to support you? The way that you do that is you figure out what the average transaction size would potentially be in that business and how many opportunities you have to get to secure those transactions. So in my business, an average close rate is around 30 to 35%. The average revenue, it depends on what people do. If they're they're seal coating driveways, their average sale might be $500. Or $250. I don't know. Uh, But you just start to calculate that out. So if I need to do $2,000 a week to keep myself in business, and my average job size is $250, then I need to do eight jobs a week to create that $2,000. And if my close rate, just say it's 33%, 
I need to do eight jobs. I got to put out 24 proposals a week to, to, to counteract that and get to the $2,000 a week. It's simple math, guys. So you don't have to have it all figured out to start. Uh, business plans are important, but they're, the, the detailed business plan that you're going to take to a bank, uh, it's, it's going to go out the window in month two, I promise you. Uh, I've seen it happen. I've seen plenty of people's business plans that when they started, they had a great plan and they thought about things. And I'm, I'm telling you, it's important to think about things. Just don't overthink it. Number two, people that will try to talk you out of things, try to talk you out of making changes in your business, try to talk you out of starting a business, try to talk you out of uh, making a change in your job, uh, changing the way that you do business, right? For the people who are in uh, our industry and in construction going from uh, residential to commercial. Everybody said, oh man, you're going to lose this. You're going to lose. Don't let those people talk you out of anything. There's a reason why you're thinking it. Explore it yourself and get around the right people who will help you think through that logically uh, with no emotion and, and just make a decision for yourself. Those people typically who are offering you an opinion are not qualified to offer it to you. Number three, those people that you view as incredibly successful and that you think got it all figured out, they don't have it figured out either, man. They're trying to figure it out every single day as they go. And even the most successful people, those people who are worth millions of dollars, some cases hundreds of millions, will tell you they continue to become better problem solvers every single day because of the requirement that business and life has to be that. You have to be able to solve problems. So when you look at these people who are incredibly successful and you allow that, you think, oh man, those people, that they're this successful because they, they, they know this or they know something I don't know. At some point, they didn't know it either. And they educated themselves in the process. And it is not going to be comfortable for you to educate yourself on something new. It's just not how it works, guys. You will experience discomfort to get where you're trying to go. So number three, those people that you view as incredibly successful, they're exactly the same as you. They might have a little bit more experience. They might have dealt with a little bit more in their life problem-wise that, that makes them appear to be a little bit more advanced. They are no different than you, I promise you. And number four, who you surround yourself with will absolutely determine the pace of your success and most importantly, your happiness and fulfillment in life. Uh, I promise you, if you guys about constantly evaluate your circle, uh, at the Gold Digger Retreat here coming up in January, we're going to do an exercise like that's, that's along the lines of this that is incredibly, incredibly powerful. And when we go through it, I promise you, the light bulbs that go off at that retreat, and we'll share that with you guys after the retreat, that whole entire process of how you evaluate your own circle and how you replace that circle was something that's going to make the flywheel in your life spin faster and faster. Um, that is the most important thing that you can choose is who you interact with. When those people are pour, pouring poison into your life, and it could be little doses of poison, it will make you sick. And as you grow in business, you grow in life, your need for positivity, your need for level-headed people that are going to help you get where you're going, that share your vision, that share your motivation, it's the single most important thing that you can choose in your life. And I would encourage you guys to start looking at these things today. Every single piece of what I just went over uh, will get you clearer on exactly what you're trying to accomplish in your life. And uh, I hope that it creates incredible success for all of you guys. So I appreciate you spending the last 25 minutes here with me. Uh, there was a lot of you that stayed on the whole entire time. So I appreciate you guys so much. Um, Tomorrow, I'm going to try to figure out how to get on here. I got a round trip flight to Atlanta tomorrow. So I don't, I will do it at some point during the day, uh, but I'm not sure exactly what time it will be. So please uh, just stay tuned. If you put your notifications on on my business page, it'll flash up on your phone and tell you every single time that I go live here. I've got some guests lined up that are coming here soon that'll be really impressive. I got one guy coming that has run a uh, hundred, couple hundred mile races. Uh, that's just a phenomenal guy, and you guys will enjoy listening to the story. One race, he got 96 miles out of 100 and couldn't finish, and that'll be a great, incredible lesson that you guys will definitely want to hear. Uh, and then um, on the backside, he, he finished a race right here in Cleveland that was 102 miles, 
And so you guys will definitely want to meet uh, Peter Ward is the guy's name. And so stay tuned. I'm trying to lock down that schedule here momentarily. And then I've got a bunch more guests that I, I, I'll share with you guys as they get a little bit closer. But I hope you guys enjoyed today. Thank you guys for joining me. Again, just put the notifications on and you'll get notified every single time that I go live here. And uh, I appreciate you guys tuning in. I love you guys. Thank you so much for your support.